Also today, and we're saying, look, that there has to be a, a minimum safety level that people can expect, even on strike days, and we've announced that we'll be introducing those uh, in legislation, in law, uh, today as well. A number of trade unions have said that this um, will affect their members' human rights. What do you say to that? Look, I don't think that's, that's right. Well, let's be absolutely clear on this. Sunak's vile Victorian government is now declaring war on working people. When workers democratically vote to strike, the government wants to force them to work against their will and allow them to be sacked if they don't. It's unthinkable, and as the TUC have pointed out, it's unworkable and almost certainly illegal. It's an attack on one of our long-standing British liberties, and let's give the timing of it some context. The government has hiked taxes for workers to their highest level since the Second World War, breaking a manifesto pledge not to raise taxes. It's responsible for the highest inflation in 40 years and the biggest drop in living standards since records began. Just weeks ago, it actually crashed the economy with its plans for unfunded tax cuts for the rich. It's responsible for soaring food banks, homelessness, falling life expectancy, fuel poverty and wage stagnation. 56% of people in poverty are now in a working family. Just think about that. Seven in 10 children in poverty are in a family where at least one parent is working. Millions of workers can't afford to put food on the table, never mind heat their homes. Nurses are now using food banks and the government is uncapping bonuses for millionaire bankers. And at the very point, the very moment, workers across the country unite and say enough is enough. Sunak's government plans to rob them of their fundamental democratic right to strike. Well, absolute bollocks to that. The right to strike is fundamental to any democracy. This regressive proposed legislation intends to override a worker's basic right to withdraw their labour, forcing them to work against their will, allowing them to be sacked if they refuse. It's the fundamental democratic right to strike which underpins our ability to win dignity in the workplace and earn a decent standard of living. Without that fundamental right, we wouldn't have a minimum wage, maternity and paternity rights, pension provision, holiday and sickness entitlements, victories which have benefited every single person in this country. This vile, despicable piece of crap government would send kids up chimneys if we let them. For the sake of our country and our children and our grandchildren, we must stand together and resist it.